Hey, Jillian, we're going live. Who do you want to do a shout out to? Hey, I want to shout out to my family who have kept me, kept my feet on the ground while I reach for the stars. That is awesome. Shout out to family. Here we go. <laughs> Hey guys, another amazing guest today. We have Jillian Armendariz. She's an actress, voiceover artist, stunt woman, producer, and fitness enthusiast who's worked on various projects for Disney, Netflix, Hulu, and more. She studied theater at different colleges and moved to Los Angeles to pursue her acting career. Uh, some of her credits include The Hunt, Savage Within, Dynasty Boys, Vampirica, Limbo, and Alpha Males. Uh, she's a real-life superhero who can do amazing stunts and fight scenes. We're going to talk about stunts and comfort zone and how you can get out of your comfort zone. I am so thrilled to have you on, Jillian. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I I, I remember when we were talking like beforehand about stunts, I was completely blown away by the things that you do. So let's start at the beginning at the beginning. So how did you get into doing stunts? Uh, honestly, it really just started with me being an actress and trying to figure out any avenue to get into the industry. And, you know, we you go through those like phases, like, what do I do? I don't know, like what I'm good at. Uh, so I, I started to go to the gym. I was uh -huh. like, let me just feel better in my skin. Um, and I just so happened to have two friends who had previously gone to stunt school like years before I met them. And they're like, hey, you've been so into fitness. Like, why don't we teach you some stunt things? And like, I would just meet up with one of my friends, like in a park or in a tennis court, and he would teach me some stuff. And then it kind of just like gravitated to that because I felt so empowered and like, I could feel progress where with my acting, I was just like, how do I feel progress? You know? So. Wait, so you, you were, you went to Hollywood so that you could be an actress and you got into stunts because that's how everyone gets into acting. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> and and you made a you you've made a career out of it. But like what was the first stunt that you actually did? Like how did that happen that people like go, "Okay, let's hire Jillian to be a stunt." <laughs> well, the first most epic stunt I ever did was I was on uh, the film The Hunt. And uh, it was a wire stunt. I was just honestly on the set of the movie trying to be a soldier. I had no other things like, you know, just hold the fake gun, walk through the woods and all that stuff. And um, my stunt coach, uh, Fabian, he was like, he was directing it. And he was like, hey, I believe, I trust like your abilities. How about we hook you up to some wires and we pull you into the trees? And I'm yeah. like, um, I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. But his team was, they are so intense with safety and preparing and they rigged up all these trees in Santa Cruz. Like we were in the middle of the woods and they were always checking in on me like, Hey, you okay? You're going to be all right. And I'm like, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and they hook me up and we're about to do a rehearsal. And I'm like, okay, I got this. I got this. And my friend goes up to me and he's like, he's like, you're badass. You're a soldier and uh -huh. you're badass and you got this. And I was like, okay, <laughs> let's, let's go for it. And then they just one, two, three, pulled me into the trees. And I think my life changed immediately. Like yeah. I wasn't afraid all of a sudden and I just wanted to keep going. And we did that a couple more times before we shot it. And now I'm in wires class because I absolutely love it. So here's what I don't understand. You got to explain this about stunts. So when you get yanked by that wire, it just it looks like, you know, you're just going to break every bone in your body. Mm -hmm. So just yanking you like this. So what does it feel like? Like, is it, does it hurt? Do you feel it? What's the deal? So it doesn't hurt. Honestly, they, you wear a whole set of gear that like, you know, kind of just like a harness. And then the way that it's all attached to you is so that it's an, like an even pull so that, you know, you don't like feel like you got in a car crash. Yeah. But it, it, it kind of just feels like a, like a jolt, like, like a big jolt on your body. And then you're consumed by adrenaline and maybe uh -huh. you black out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my God. Now they were pulling you up into a tree, but like, was it a real tree? Like with branches and stuff? Full blown. We were in the middle of the Santa Cruz woods. Okay. Like it was like five degrees outside. It was January. It was freezing. And the guys, they rigged actual trees, you know, to prepare for the pull. They put some mats along the tree and then like covered it with leaves and stuff. And, um, and yeah, like it, I didn't go 10 feet in the air. It was more just like kind of this way into the trees. So uh -huh. thank God, <laughs> but it prepared me, honestly, that kind of like body work, you know, just, and the excitement of using your body like that, like, um, it really prepares you. Now I do PCAP and MOCAP because I'm so fluid in my body. Okay, PCAP and MOCAP. Talk about me PCAP because I don't know what PCAP is. MOCAP is motion capture, but PCAP, what is that one? Performance capture. Oh, really? Okay. So you have to put on the suit with all the dots and stuff? With all the dots, but then it'll also have like a, kind of like a cage around your face so that you can be acting as well. It's not just the motions but it's also your performance. Uh, so, yeah. So what do you like better, the, the PCAP or the MOCAP? <laughs> That's a hard question. Yeah. I love it all. I don't I should know. should have saved that for this or that at the end. <laughs> PCAP true. or MOCAP. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've always wanted to, like, just experience what it's like to be able to do that and then have your face come up as another character. That would be astounding. Awesome. So. Yeah. You've you've gotten to the point where where now you were like they said you know the badass, and how does that? How do you keep using that in your your art your performance? How does how do people like respond to you now? Well, it's funny because I think my family knows that I am a klutz, um, but honestly, I think branding myself in this like badass area or arena, I guess, uh, has empowered me truly. And then it, when I get, when I go to set or when I go into a studio for like voiceover, I just like kind of try to channel like, you know, that inner strength because of that outward strength. What is there fear involved in the things that you do? Like, is there some stunts and they go like, well, you're going to be in a car crash and it's going to be on fire, but don't worry, we'll get you out. So <laughs> what? there is there is definitely fear that drives me. I I've always been the kind of person that I want to try everything. And even if it kind of scares me, which, you know, lots of things scare me personally, <laughs> but I always want to, I always want to try. I, I always want to test it out. So when I do feel fear, like, I feel like that's where you find more progress. What's, what is something that you're looking forward to doing? Like a stunt? You, do you want to jump out of a airplane and have someone catch you or do, what do you want to do? <laughs> okay. I actually really want to get more involved with my wushu staff. Like, um, so it's that big staff that you see in movies where they're like, yeah, like all that. I would like it because um, learning that it helps like with sword work and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I would like to do some sort of awesome fight scene with swords or the wushu staff or something like yeah. that. So uh, by the way, how much training goes into doing like sword fights? Is it just like, do you really have to learn how to do the swords before you can fight with them in a scene or do they just say okay you swing make sure you duck or you're gonna get your head cut off um <laughs> how does that work that's yeah well let me also say for every aspect of the industry and whatnot like i'm always training all the time okay but when it comes to stunts like for me personally and i think for most of my stunt friends we learn how to do it the right way and then you learn it for camera like you know when you're doing like a, a fight with someone and people are watching they're like well why is why are their arms that way da, 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 da. well there are a bunch of cameras around you and you got to make sure certain things make sense in a fight so yeah 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 have you ever gotten mildly injured on a on a fight or anything or not <sighs> Honestly, I get more injured training <laughs> <laughs> than when you're on set. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Well, yeah. I know something else that you've done is like your voiceover work. How did you get into that? And that seems pretty frightening to someone also. Oh yeah, honestly. So I got into voiceover because as we all were stuck in COVID, I was like, how do I learn all the skills in the whole world while everyone's like on pause? Uh -huh. And um, I got into my really talented friend, Victoria Atkin has a whole like course on voiceover and all of the little aspects of the industry, the voiceover community. And I just, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with voiceover. Like, I don't know, it's very, it comes natural to me. And when I booked my first gig working for Disney, uh, well, first off, that was like a whole right time, right place. Yeah, I was about to say, like, when I booked my first gig going as an astronaut to the moon, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You booked your first gig with Disney. Yes. Please tell me that story. <laughs> yeah, it was truly magnificent. Honestly, it was because of a friend. And 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 that's kind of like how the industry works, right? Like I a friend was like, hey, I just worked with this really great director and she's looking for um Latina voiceover actors. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll just Instagram her. And I'm like, oh, this just like an Instagram audition, cool. <laughs> but um, her name is Regina and she's truly the most amazing woman because I went through this whole audition process and I'm like, uh, it's, it's just Instagram. <laughs> so, so I don't really know what, what's about to happen. And um, like two weeks after the audition entire process, um, I get an email that I booked a lead dubbing role for Disney. And I was like, I'm sorry, <laughs> what are you talking about? Is that from yep. Instagram? And, um, and then when I go for my first day, truly my, my life changed. I, I see my name in the, like in a parking spot. I'm like, everyone's so nice to me and all this stuff. And I, I meet Regina and she said like, mm -hmm. When she found out that I did stunts, she knew that as a voiceover artist, like you really need to use your body. And she she liked that I did stunts and it it helped her make the decision to choose me. And that was truly a remarkable moment for me because I've spent all these years learning different skills and hoping that there's a reason for it. And literally in that moment, like I discovered the reason. <laughs> wow. So wait, so you, you do the stunts, you do the voice, which one's scarier? Honestly, I don't feel scared for either of them. I feel more excited. Like, okay. They excite me so much. Like it's, it's, yeah, I just, I love to be in the studio. I love to be in the studio doing voiceover work. Cause it's so therapeutic, you know, like mm -hmm. if I have to, be in an argument and I have to do it over and over and over again. I'm like, great. I don't normally argue in real life, but when I'm like, you know, on set for doing stunts or anything like that, it's so like, it's so empowering. I love that empowered feeling. I just, I just love to be on camera anyway, acting stunts. Yeah. I think it's amazing. So people are watching and, and they're going like, Oh my gosh, this is Superwoman. I love this. What do you yeah. say to other people when they go like, "Well, I think I want to do something, but I'm I'm afraid and I don't know that I can get it done and I don't know if I'm going to be good enough." You are doing amazing stuff. Just share some of your like knowledge, like empower us to be able to do things too. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would if someone said that they want to try something, I would just stop them right there and say to do it. Because all of us, we all have this moment or long moments in our lives where we think we can't do anything. But if you spend so much time thinking, oh, I'm, I'm too old to do this, or my time has passed, or that's really crazy. I've never done that before. Well, you're going to waste all this time that you could have been trying. Like trying mm -hmm. doesn't hurt and, and everyone is afraid and everyone's pretending 
So like it's, you're going to be okay. I, I would just say, just go for it to, to absolutely anybody. And I, I like to like keep my door open or my email open. To yes. People who, who, like, you know, they just, they want to ask questions. I'm here to give you the tools that I spent the past 16 years learning, you know? That is awesome. That is awesome. So just get out there, do it. Don't let your fear stop you and try it because everyone else is pretending anyway. Yeah. <laughs> is that about right? <laughs> I mean, really, I, honestly, it's, it, everything is scary. I mean, if, if, if you look at me from the outside and you're like, oof, like martial arts, that's scary. Like I've never even been to the gym longer than an hour. It's like, I did, I hadn't either, you know, like <laughs> I, I fell off the wagon in COVID for so many times, you know, like, but just get right back on. It's never too late. Like, that's what I would say. All right, let's do it. You know what we're going to do right now? We are going what? to do this or that. <laughs> and you're the first person that I've tried that new graphic with. So I'm just going to ask you questions. You get mm -hmm. two possibilities. All you got to do is tell me which one. I'm not going to even say is you like or don't like. It's just I want to know the first thing that comes to your, your, your mind, okay? Here we go. Okay. Um, voiceover or motion capture? Voiceover. Instagram or YouTube? Instagram. If you could do theater or film? Film. Okay. Detective or superhero? Superhero. Nominee or drama? Drama. Straight up stunts or acting? Acting. Um, how about yoga or Pilates? Yoga. Let me see. Disney or Marvel? <laughs> oh, God, I'm just soul. asking questions, oh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marvel. Okay. You like <laughs> books or movies? <laughs> Shoot, these are hard. Um, yeah. mm. It's only two, two choices. <laughs> Movies. <laughs> okay. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Morning. Pizza or tacos? Pizza. And you're going to be a superhero. Who do you want to play? Your favorite superhero that you would be ever? Like, who would that be? Mm, I would go... I would, I would want to play Jubilee, but my favorite superhero ever is Batman. Really? You could be Batman. Batman. Did you see the, the trailer for uh, Flash, by the way, with um, Michael Keaton as Batman? I did. And I Everybody was very lost their mind. <laughs> I lost my mind. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. That. I want people to be able to stay in touch with you. They can find you on Instagram. There we go. We can also find you on Facebook. Easy one. I love this one right here. Tw at Twitter, we can find you at, at Jills. That's amazing. And... Of course, we've got your uh, website right here that we can find you on. So I want to thank you so much for being on. It's just fun. We could sit here and just do like this for another hour or two. And uh, <laughs> I just love asking you questions. Thank you for being here. Oh, well, thank you for having me, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, it was awesome. I will talk to you in the future. Everybody look up uh, Jillian and let's uh, keep stunting. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Ooh.